So what is up mga Katek Shop? Uh, for today's video mga Katek Shop, we'll be talking about the end of support for Windows 10 this coming October 2025. So this means mga Katek Shop that uh, we will not receive any software updates, security fixes, or technical assistance for Windows 10 operating system starting October 14, 2025. So, after hearing this news, Magdikshav, I've decided to upgrade my laptop into SSD and I'm planning to install Windows 11 on it. And fortunately, when I tried to install Windows 11 on my laptop, I get this error message. I cannot install Windows 11 on this specific laptop because of the system requirements or it doesn't meet the system requirements for Windows 11 and then I went to the Dell website and confirmed that uh, for the specific laptop that I that I've been using they confirmed that uh, they cannot provide a device driver for Windows 11 operating system so it's not supported for this device and possibly for older laptops and computers but don't worry mga Tech shop in this video I'm gonna show you how to bypass the system check um, when installing Windows 11 operating system on your laptops or computer so if you're interested mga Katek Shop, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's go! Prepare a bootable USB drive with Windows 11 installer on it. And then boot on that uh, USB. Once the Windows 11 Pro, ins uh, once you are in the Windows 11 Pro installation process, you'll need to open up command prompt by pressing shift f10 both shift f10 for some laptops it's gonna be fn shift and f10 once the command prompt is open open registry windows registry by typing in reg edit on the command prompt on the registry window navigate h key local machine system setup within the setup right click on the white screen right click click new and then key and then type in lab config once the new key lab config has been created within the lab config right click and create D word for bypass TPM check bypass RAM check bypass secure boot check double click on each D word created and set the value to 1 close registry and command prompt and you should be able to proceed with the Windows 11 installation process pick the desired drive and then proceed with the installation Here I have completed the Windows 11 installation and uh, next step will be installing the device driver for this particular laptop and I'm gonna be using the Windows 10 device drivers for this laptop even if I'm running Windows 11 Pro. 
all right if this video helps you don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel let's go